Hi, I'm Jessica, and I want to talk to you about the Biden scale or um, the test for hypermobility that your doctor might necessarily have not, might not have given you. Um, my brain fog is real, so I mess up a lot, but um, your doctor might not have told you about this test, and um, I just want to run through it with you real quick. If your thumb... can touch your wrist on both hands. It's called the Ehlers-Danlos gang sign, and that is a point for each finger. Sorry, I'm having a really bad back spasm right now. Um, but that's a point for each, arm, each wrist. Um, if your fingers go back more than the 90 degree normal angle, on each hand that's a point for each hand so that's four points so far um, so far um, if your elbows go back instead of just staying like this on each arm is a point so now we're at um six and if your knees do the same thing bend backwards i'm not standing up right now because i have <clears throat> some other comid comorbidities that are bothering me but um if your knees do that too bend backwards then that's a point for each leg so that's eight points if you can touch the floor with your palms flat and your legs straight so you bend over and if you can touch the floor flat that's another point so that's the nine point hypermobility scale and if you are more than four points you should talk to your doctor about hypermobile or, <laughs> sorry you should talk to your doctor about hypermobility spectrum disorder or Ehlers-Danlos syndrome um, and there's other things that can cause hypermobility as well, but if you are four out of nine on the scale, then you should be run through the criteria for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and Hypermobility Syndrome. Please talk to your doctor, and a regular doctor probably won't know much about it. The best doctor you, the most, the, who you should see is a geneticist, but you'll have to usually get a referral to see a geneticist first and that can take a while rheumatologists sometimes know about it it's hit or miss but also um sometimes you can search and there's like just one-off doctors that'll have like a special interest in ehlers danlos syndrome because it's rare but um so most doctors don't know about it aren't educated in it um treat you kind of like crap because it's a big big thing but just please talk to your doctor about it if you're four out of nine on the scale